So my next guest says that what matters isn't the negative GDP issue that we saw, for instance, in the first half of the year, but rather the inflation trajectory. And she's starting to add some risk to her portfolio slowly. Joining me now is Nancy Tangler, the CEO and Chief Investment Officer at Laffer Tangler Investments. Great to see you, Nancy. What's your mood in a nutshell here? Well, that was a great interview, Kelly, with Michael. I, I, I think he's right on many fronts. Uh, we, don't, we don't think we're in a recession either, and we think that if we get one, we'll get it in 2023. But we're, we're clearly slowing. And I thought the uh, ISM manufacturing numbers today were actually quite encouraging because we're seeing slow, slow, slowing down in new orders. Prices paid came down, and then delivery times came down. And so inventories are starting to clear out. And we're, we're noting that um, many of the manufacturers are not ordering uh, as, as rapidly as they were in the second half of last year. So all of that is, is good news for what the Fed is trying to achieve. And frankly, they've been, you know, I've been very critical of the Fed, but they've been quite clever in using rhetoric. Uh, to hmm. encourage the bond market and the stock market to do the heavy lifting. You know, it, it seems they are finally believing Powell when he says this is, and he repeated it again earlier this week, saying inflation is the number one issue and we will take whatever happens to the economy in order to make sure that we conquer it. Yeah, agreed. And I, I mean, it's a, a lot a lot late, but um, welcome nonetheless. So we're we're focused now on what's the earnings picture going to look like in the second half of this year. We had already moved defensive in anticipation of slowing growth, not that we anticipated uh, Russia invading Ukraine uh, and adding to that, but we knew we were slowing. And so we got more defensive at the end of last year and in the summer of last year. And now we're starting to, to add back in some risk, Kelly, and also um, sniffing around in the bond market. So a couple, you know, a couple of weeks back, I guess about a month ago, we started building some bond ladders for our clients that um, had been out. We'd taken them out of the bond market in August of 2020 when the 10-year Treasury yield got to 50 basis points. 